warm welcome to Mr. Brendan Coyle, who currently plays Mr. Bates in Downton Abbey. I am so grateful for your support. <laughs> I'm so grateful for your support. It's wonderful to see you here. It's also wonderful to see Councillor Anthony Davey, the Mayor of Corby, and the Mayoress also in the audience. I would also like to welcome the Corby Carnival Queens who have kindly donated their time to help me sell raffle tickets. <laughs> and I would finally like to welcome Mr. Michael Ross, who has travelled a very long way to be here. And he's also a fan of me and Charlie on Twitter as well. <laughs> Leighton's is a cause very close to mine and my family's heart. My lovely grandmother, Margaret, Margaret Harvey, was a volunteer at the hospice and even designed their gardens before she sadly passed away far too soon from cancer. Leighton's offered us much needed support that even allowed us to plant a tree on their grounds in her memory. She was a wonderful woman, full of kindness, and she inspired me greatly. After she passed away, I began to go to the hospice to sing for the patients. I was so amazed by their courage and, and the incredible support that they received from the staff and the group of volunteers as well. And I decided to, find, um, I decided to host this fundraiser in aid of them. Leyland's receives no government funding and relies entirely on donations to keep its doors open. I'm sure you will, I'm sure, I'm sure you will all agree that they do a wonderful job in supporting the people of Corby and the surrounding areas. It's an honour to support their cause. I have gathered together some amazing local talented acts to keep you entertained this afternoon. Please give them all a very warm welcome as they have put so much time into rehearsing for the scene for Lakeland. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy listening to us sing for Lakeland and that between, we, and between us we can manage to raise as much funds for the hospice as possible. I will now go from the show with my first song, Lovers. I dedicate this song to my grandmother, Margaret Harvey, and all the patients past and present at the hospice. Oh 